Hi, my name is Alan Martin. I am a particle theorist and I love to explain to anyone interested the sheer beauty and symmetry of the physics of the fundamental particles. But what I really love most is to uncover more about how these tiniest bits of our universe behave. We have known for a long time that atoms, that is the things that we are all made of, are themselves divided into smaller building blocks. In fact, in the past hundred years, physicists have discovered a whole variety of subatomic particles, like muons, neutrinos, quarks, and more recently the Higgs boson. By combining quantum mechanics with the theory of relativity, physicists have been able to describe how these particles behave. This understanding, this theory, is called the standard model of particle physics. Indeed, it works really well, actually too well. But the life of a subatomic enthusiast is not easy. Most of these tiny particles are very difficult to see in our experiments. The reason is that once they are created, they only exist for a very, very tiny fraction of a second, and then they disintegrate into more common particles. This makes our job really hard. But who doesn't like a challenge? That's why physicists around the world built the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, a powerful machine with enough energy to summon those short-lived particles where our experiments can detect them. But the process of creating a new particle is a little bit... messy. Many interactions take place at the same time, and it is complicated to find the exciting new particles amongst the ones we already know. Here is where we enter the picture. I am Ramona, and together with my colleagues at the Institute of Particle Physics Phenomenology in Durham, we recreate the same events that take place at the LHC, but inside a computer. Yes, we use particle physics models to calculate those messy LHC collisions inside a world where we can control the rules. Physicists at the LHC need our simulations to understand their experimental results. If both of them match, we can say that the model works well. So far, we have found that the standard model has passed all these tests with flying colors. But the truth is, the standard model is not the final word. We have known for many years that this theory is not enough to explain everything that happens in the universe. For example, why particles have the mass that we observe, why there is hardly any antimatter around, or what is the mysterious dark matter? the invisible substance that surrounds all galaxies. Oh, yes, my name. I'm Vale Jose, and at our institute we work on these problems too. We try to solve them by extending the standard model, adding more particles, more interactions, or even more dimensions. Then, we test these models in computer simulations to see if they work better. We also use simulations to design future experiments that can help us to push the boundaries of our knowledge. In short, we are explorers of this miniature world, and we hope that someday you will join us on this quest.